Hey folks, today I've got the task of trying to make a power supply sound interesting. We're going to be taking a look at a nice, reasonably priced, semi-modular and gold-rated PSU from Corsair. This is 2017's refreshed TX line. This one in particular I've got here is the TX650M, which is a 650 watt power supply, but they do come in other variants up to 850 watts, and all come with a nice 7 year warranty. Now it should be noted that this should not be confused with the old TX power supplies, which had sort of a yellowish logo on the side, because that was only a bronze rated power supply. This one, it's gold rated and it comes with 100% Japanese capacitors, which are rated up to 105 degrees, which is what most would consider a higher tier capacitor when it comes to choosing your PSU. The new TX also features a variable fan, which has got to spin right down when it's not running very hot. And speaking of heat, it's maybe not something that I'm going to have to contend with here in Scotland, but it is rated to run at 100% at a toasty server-esque 50 degrees C. So for those of you with poor airflow in your case or in hotter climates, it could be a great selling point for you. When we get inside the box, you're going to see all your usual paperwork. And it's going to come with a power connector that is specific to your region. Taking the actual unit out of its protective bubble wrap, the actual unit is actually quite small, it's 140mm long, so it's not as long as some ATX PSUs can be, which is going to be really handy if you're going to be installing it into something smaller, like that Rygen Tech Sticks case that I reviewed a while back. Or if your case is a bit of a pest to cable managing, that extra 20mm or so is going to be really handy. This PSU has got a 120mm Corsair fan. Now it's not the fanciest fan in the world, but it is going to do the job while still looking good in the process. Another nice exterior touch is the side logo. I've seen so many high-end builds that are marred by their PSUs having their logos displayed upside down when it's in the case, due to both sides being in the same orientation. Not so here, regardless of whether you want the PSU to draw hot air out of the case or to draw cool air from under the case, Corsair's got you sorted here, with the opposing logos being the correct orientation for each configuration. It's a nice touch, and it's one that would be easy to neglect or forget about in a world that's filled with cases with PSU shrouds. Taking a look at the back, it's your standard PSU affair, but you do get to glimpse into that high quality Japanese capacitors, but it's around the other side that things are interesting. Here you've got your two PCI Express connectors, along with a couple of peripheral ports for your SATA drives or your Molex extensions. And it's also nice to see that that non-modular 24 pin and the CPU connectors are of high quality and braided in the case of the 24 pin, and neither are in a garish colour. There's nothing worse than when you get some ketchup and mustard in your PSU when you just don't want it. And I know with my EVGA 500 watt, I had to go back and colour those in. The CPU power cable is split from one cable. It's maybe offering a little bit more clutter than if it was two separate cables, and you're using a lower power board, but for the majority of people using this with modern systems, it's going to take that two 4-pin connectors. So now on to the rest of the cables that come in the box. Now first up out is a floppy adapter. Now there's probably not much use for this in 2017, but if your build still needs one, you'll be glad that it's included. Next up we've got two PCIe connectors. Now these feature flat cables which is going to make building in a tight case a breeze, it's also going to make it look a lot more tidy, but the cables do split into two, that's two eights per cable. I would have liked to have seen single cables, just so you could have the two of them running into your GPU if you've got a 2x8 connector on your GPU, but the fact that they're flat and fairly flexible means that it shouldn't be too hard to get it looking tidy within your case. Next up. We've got a pair of SATA cables. Now these are daisy chained, again flat cables, which is going to make building in tight cases or cases where cable management's a bit of a pest just that little bit easier. And these flat cables, they're actually one of the things that drew me to this case. On top of that, we've also got daisy chainable Molex connectors, again using the same flat cables as the rest, if you've got any old fans or peripherals that you want to attach. So what's clear with this PSU is that Corsair's put a lot of thought into it. Now I know there's a lot of power supplies within Corsair's range that's gotten a lot of flack over the last few years for their poor quality. 
but this TX line, it's certainly due nothing other than praise. The build quality on it is absolutely fantastic, the PSU looks great, and it's going to be able to fit in a wide variety of builds. If you look at some of the other more in-depth online reviews, you're going to see just how well this PSU performs. And the fact that the modular cables have got enthusiasts in mind with their flatness, it all adds up to a PSU that in my opinion you just can't get better for the money. At under $90 or £90, I think you'd be hard pressed to find something else that gives you the same performance for the same cost. Anyway folks, thanks for watching this quick look at this PSU and stick around because it's going to be sitting at the heart of a build that I've got coming up in the next week or so. As always, thanks for watching folks. I'd love to know what you think of this PSU or if you've even bought it. And as always, I'll see you down in the comment section below and in the next video.